How can we solve the climate crisis? Humanity faces complex challenges. Dealing with the climate crisis, stopping mass extinction of the species and feeding the growing population are not easy tasks. In times of turmoil, only change is certain. The outcome depends on us alone. This is why a new kind of thinking is needed. In systems thinking, the world is seen as consisting of various interdependent complex systems. The parts of each system are linked to each other and to the other systems. To see what systemic change implies in practice, let's consider the energy system. The energy system is a socio-technical regime which aims to provide heat, electricity and mobility. The energy regime is influenced by changes in the landscape, such as population growth, fuel price trends and international obligations to reduce carbon dioxide emissions due to the climate crisis. Innovations also challenge the regime to change. Innovations can take the form of new technologies or new practices, such as crowdfunding. Therefore, the regime faces pressure both from above as well as below. However, in a stable situation, the regime becomes rigid because of vested interests and the sunk costs of those who have invested in it. Continuity is easier and more profitable for those with power. Path dependence locks the system, despite the urgency of renewal. When the pressure grows unbearable, it can push the system off balance. This has happened before. Marine transportation shifted from sailing ships to steamers, and data transfer switched from copper cables to wireless networks. System change is inherently a slow process. In the case of the climate crisis in particular, we need simultaneous action at various levels, in everyday life and in the political arena to accelerate the unlocking of the current energy regime. So, how do we solve the climate crisis then? By divesting from fossil fuel-based energy production. By consuming more ecologically, for every product contains embedded energy. By returning carbon back to the soil. By boldly investing in new solutions. We must understand change on a systemic level in order to navigate in the right direction. This will ensure that climate mitigation and adaption efforts do not distort other systems and create new problems, for example, by affecting the nitrogen cycle or by losing biodiversity. The solution does not hinge on money. Preventing the climate crisis would only cost the equivalent of one cup of coffee a day per person.